Good Morning Richmond starts now. Happy Wednesday, everyone, and welcome to the final half hour of Good Morning Richmond. It is August 25th. I'm Amy McLean here in the studio with Matt DiNardo talking about the change we're yeah. seeing sort of in temperatures, everything kind of cooling down as we get ready for fall. Will you be ready if a hurricane hits our area? Well, the latest models show there could be more tropical activity in the next few weeks. Meteorologist Jason Myers joins us now with more from the 8 News Hurricane Center. Breaking news now. Good morning, everyone. We continue to follow a breaking story out of Chesterfield County where one person is fighting for their life after an early morning house fire it broke out just before four o'clock this morning here on Oldbury Road. And we do have some video here from the scene. Here is what we know about this blaze. We're told it's under control right now and took only a few minutes to put out. The victim was taken to a hospital with life threatening injuries. The cause of the fire, though, is still under investigation went inside and went into what we call rescue mode, uh, which our sole objective at that point is to to locate any victims and uh, they were able to quickly get to the back bedroom, locate the victim and, and pull her from the residence. Fire officials also say a dog was rescued from the house and taken into a local veterinarian. This latest fire comes at a time when deadly house fires are on the rise in our area. This year there have been three fatal fires in Richmond, six in Chesterfield County and five in Henrico. Breaking news now and we are following breaking news this morning. An earthquake rattles the D.C. area. Initial reports say the quake was centered here in Rockville, Maryland. Well, people living in the fan are still talking about these mysterious lights that you see here spotted in the area over the weekend. This is video of the trio of lights that some say looks like a UFO. Now they've hovered for several hours late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. The next night we're told a single light appeared in that same area. Developing right now a homicide investigation underway in Richmond. Police say a man was shot to death here in the 1300 block of East Brooklyn Park Boulevard. Our 8 News reporter Josh Landon joins us live now at police headquarters with the latest. 8 News at 5 starts now. Welcome to the five o'clock show developing right now. The search is on for a man who is wanted for shooting three people in Petersburg last night. It all happened here on Halifax Street. Eight News anchor Morgan Dean has the latest. A Richmond man is behind bars sentenced today for dog fighting. 47 year old Dino Jones will serve three years in prison. Jones pled guilty in May to two counts of animal cruelty and made an Alfred plea to one count of dog fighting. Now that was after 21 pit bulls and dog fighting equipment were seized from his Churchill home in January. 8 News reporter Kim Schumacher has more now from the courthouse. The man accused of murdering a Richmond mother appeared in court this morning. Michael Solomon was arraigned on first degree murder charges for the death of his girlfriend, Tamika Claiborne. He was also charged with transporting and concealing a body. Claiborne's body was discovered last month in the James River. John Lennon's killer will seek his freedom this week for a sixth time. Mark David Chapman is scheduled to appear before a parole board in upstate New York this week. Chapman has been in prison nearly 30 years for gunning down the former Beatle on a Manhattan sidewalk back in 1980. My hometown team, the New Orleans Saints, went marching into the White House today. President Barack Obama welcomed the Super Bowl champs to his home where he congratulated the team. Now he admits he's a Chicago Bears fan, but says the Saints victory has special meaning for the country and the city of New Orleans following Hurricane Katrina and the recent Gulf oil spill. Welcome to 8 News at 9. I'm Amy McLean here in the Weather Center with Paul Milliken. And Paul, mm -hmm. the temperatures look like they're cooling down yes. a little. Drivers may soon be able to drive a little faster on the roadways. Good yeah, for you speed those, demons. Well, not me, not all you, you out there. Uh -huh. We have been sent outside. I know, what is this? I know. I think not... my producer just wanted to see me change clothes really fast. That's what it was. <laughs> we wanted to see your hat. That's what it was. Delta Airlines will allow passengers to make one-time changes to their travel schedules without any rebooking fees. It's really Hear that. Yeah. Delta says it will assist those who run into flight problems because of winter weather in the southeast and customers can rebook a new flight before or after their original travel date as long as the travel begins by this Friday. And of course, we're also monitoring things here at Richmond International Airport departures and arrivals. Here's the departures page pulled up and for most flights they are on time. As you can see as I scroll down, there are two delays, one flight uh, heading to Houston, another one heading to Boston and you will notice this cancellation 
here. This was a Delta flight that was heading to Cincinnati at 645. That flight is canceled. As far as arrivals, you won't notice too many problems. In fact, this Boston flight is heading out a few minutes early and then this Philadelphia flight leaving maybe 15 minutes behind schedule. Well, tonight on TV 8, Barbara Walters presents her 10 most fascinating people of 2010. And take a look at the people behind me. It includes the cast of MTV's Jersey Shore, then also singers Justin Bieber and Jennifer Lopez. Also making the list, NBA star LeBron James, Betty White, she's so funny. Also actress Sandra Bullock, as well as future British princess Kate Middleton. Sarah Palin is on the list for an unprecedented third year in a row. And the number one and two most fascinating people remain a mystery. Of course, here at 8 News, we know Matt and Paul are both the top two on the list. Woo! <laughs> Thanks for the applause. But tonight at 10, you'll get the results of who Barbara Walters ranked as the top two. That's coming up, followed by 8 News at 11. Well, continuing coverage now of a spy swap between the U.S. and Russia. We have live pictures right here for you. This is the plane believed to be carrying the Russians involved in that spy exchange that has just arrived at Dulles Airport, we're told. So some live pictures for you. But this is the largest spy swap in 20 years that's just been completed. And not in secret, but in the glare of television cameras, 10 admitted Kremlin agents arrested in the U.S. last week are now in Moscow, traded for four Russians accused of working for the West. U.S. Representative Charlie Rangel is defending himself against ethics violations. In fact, these are some live pictures just coming into our newsroom. Now he is scheduled to appear before this hearing of the House Ethics Committee. And I was listening to a little bit of the audio from these live pictures. They're basically going over the rules of the hearing. We're told that each side will be allowed 10 hours to present their case. Now the New York Congressman faces charges that his fundraising and personal finances violated congressional rules. And one unusual thing we should note, Rangel has parted ways with his legal team and we're told that he will now be representing himself. Today we're spotlighting jobs in counseling, sales and finance. First up, Good Neighbor Counseling needs counselors. They are also looking for case managers to serve in the Richmond and Tri-Cities area. We're told they need professionals to work with families in their homes. Also, the Richmond SPCA is looking for a sales associate. They want someone to work in the organization's Laura Robbins gift shop. This is a part-time position. And finally, Liberty Tax Service wants to hire tax preparers. Of course, we are approaching tax season in a few months. They have seasonal positions available in Petersburg, Colonial Heights, and Hopewell, and we're told no experience is necessary because they offer free classes. To apply for any of these jobs, just visit the economic alert page of WRIC.com. In World News Now, new video footage is released of the only U.S. U.S. soldier believed to be held hostage in Afghanistan. Take a look. The video is of specialist Bo Bergdahl of Idaho, who has been held by the Taliban since June 30th, 2009. He disappeared that day in a province in eastern Afghanistan. Officials believe another man who appears in the video is a Taliban commander who has threatened to kill Bergdahl. And topping national news this morning, more travelers and flight crews are voicing their outrage this morning about the TSA's controversial new security rules. While the new policy allows passengers to choose between a full body image scan or pat downs, which some are comparing to groping. Meanwhile, one passenger's conversation with a security agent about those pat downs has gone viral online. Take a listen. We're going to be doing a groin check. That means I'm going to place my hand on your hip, the other hand on your inner thigh, slowly go up and slide down. Okay. We're going to do that two times in the front and two times in the back. All right. All right, it is today's Twitter topic, so we want you all to weigh in on the issue. All this morning, we've basically been asking, do you think that these new security features are making you feel safe? Or do you think that it's a little intrusive? And I do want to read a few responses here on the 8 News Twitter page that have come in. Dion New tweets in, I'm dreading flying for Turkey Day next week. I don't want to be patted down or naked scanned like a criminal. It's not right. Not Ashamed 87 sent this tweet. She says new airport security measures are far too intrusive. I will not be flying anymore. And finally, Teja Biber tweets in, imagine being a teen going through all that. That would be very uncomfortable. So it looks like our...
Twitter followers are not really a big fan of those uh, new security measures, but keep on sending your feedback. We'd love to hear from you. You can send it to twitter.com slash 8 news and we may read some of your responses on the air. A local music group is hosting their Christmas extravaganza this weekend and joining me in the studio to talk about the event is member and manager Brandon Anderson. Welcome back. We have a very special guest, two guests actually on the show today. You may have seen this person right here on the Richmond Funny Bone or the Laugh Factory. Comedian Jay Roan joins us in the studio along with his manager Corey Falconier. Thanks thank so much for nice being here, here guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. tell us how did you get started as a comedian? Well actually I've kind of always been funny my whole life. I guess just starting <laughs> getting paid for it now okay. is a good thing. It's Corey's <laughs> job. Mm -hmm. But uh, actually I got with Nakia Smithers. She's a award-winning author. She has a talk radio show and we started getting together collaborating with her and uh, the show just took off. It was like peanut butter and jelly. So, wow, yeah. awesome. <laughs> now, how did you team up with Corey as your manager? Uh, actually, he's seen uh, a couple of clips of me at the funny. Don't mind the heat, but I'm not a fan of the humidity. And that's what's back in today. You notice when you step outside. Yeah. All right, thanks for staying with us. We'll see you back here in about 25 minutes.